Episode number fucking one. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Two G's and a Pod podcast. And me. With Jeremy. We're just gonna kind of bullshit for an hour. Like, we've been talking about doing this for a while, doing a podcast, letting you guys get to know us a little bit more. Yeah. And, like, we think it's a great way to connect with you guys. And also, we know some cool ass people. So, down the road, this is gonna be awesome because we're gonna get some cool guests. Yep. Yeah, today our guest is uh, one of our athletes, Jeremy, right here. But um, down the road, when we do have guests, they're just gonna be sitting right here, and we're just gonna be hanging out and asking questions, and getting to know them, and you know, yeah. showing you guys. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, it's gonna be cool stuff. Really cool. <laughs> really <laughs> cool. One. It's gonna be super cool, guys. Just yeah. think how cool the episodes are gonna be after this one. Yeah, it's gonna be funny because <laughs> we're definitely gonna look back and be like, we're gonna look back at this episode like. Yeah, oh, sick. <laughs> that's gonna be the hottest trash. Like, People watching right now are like, dude, they don't even have microphones. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> conversation cast. We got nothing, dude. Don't we got one microphone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. we got one mic. That's that's pretty much it. So, but yeah, um, we were looking back at YouTube videos earlier too, and like, like YouTube videos that Rob and I did from like two years ago, and it's just like, damn. And we thought they were it was good. A little, it was a little at the time, we were like, oh, dude, we're so awesome. We're Tell like, this on YouTube. Yeah, like, Send like, it. That was funny. That was legit. And we'll now it's like, now. what the fuck? It's bad. But um, I think, first and foremost, for the people who aren't even aware of uh, Gunsmith or what we're all about or who we are or anything, I think uh, it'd probably be smart for us to tell you guys a little bit more about who we are. You know, a little introduction into a you know, what we're all about, so, um, James, if you want to start it off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The, the yeah. pressure, the though. The pressure. Um, let's see. I'm the oldest one in the group. I'm kind of old. <laughs> you don't have to throw yourself under the bus. I'm throwing myself under the bus. Uh, birthday boy. Yeah, it's my birthday, actually, in two days. Sunday. I'm going to be old. Hey. 73, you 73. Yeah. 73 never looked so bad. The, the beard. It's yeah. growing a little bit. Anyway, so, um, so let's see. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I'm originally from the Bay Area, California. Um, went, played college football out of Mississippi and also in Southern Oregon. And now I lift weights for a living, basically. I, I help other people lift weights and I get to train on top of that. So it's pretty awesome. Living the dream, dude. Living the dream. Seriously, though, if you really think about it, like, as a strength and conditioning coach, I mean, you owning your own gym and operating it, like, what else is there? Yeah. Like, you're li literally living the dream, you know? You know I basically not, would live here. It's not just a there phrase. was a bed here. Well, you technically I told that to too. Yeah, I, sleep I was like, couch. can I sleep upstairs? Yeah, so. I've slept on that couch actually before. So, wow. Did you sleep good? That's no. the question. You do. You did. If you it looks comfortable. If you saw this couch, this couch is literally like yeah. three and a half feet long. Yeah, it's hard to. Well, just take our word for it. It's small. You know who would um, love that couch? Riley, dude. Riley, dude, I when bet I, Sherry could sleep on that couch super comfortably. Yeah, I, I, without even would, touching both sides. They don't know who Sherry is. No. Sherry's one we'll, of We'll we'll introduce you guys to a Sherry's bunch a of future people. guest. Yeah. She's a future guest. Just get ready for that. So um I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um my name is Rob Tremonti. I uh I grew up near Seattle. Um went out to Idaho in two thousand nine. Um, to play college football at Idaho State. You uh, lived out there for a little bit, met my uh, wife now. Uh, we've been together for about eight years. And um, but yeah, she got a job transfer out to Oregon. We moved out to Oregon, been here for about four years. Um, almost immediately met James. And then uh, back in the day when I was 16, I started my own clothing brand. I ran that for a pretty long time, six, seven years off and on really um but i learned a lot of stuff doing i learned a lot of stuff doing that and um what else robbery clothing robbery i can't even think what you guys talk about sorry um so started my own clothing brand back when i was about 16 it's called robbery everybody says it wrong that's why i ended it and uh <laughs> but i came out here for a job transfer with my wife like i said and then she uh i ended up getting a real serious job and i ended that clothing brand and then um, about 10 months later, I'd known him for probably eight months. 
I hit him up one day when I was in my cubicle, just bored as fuck. And I was like, dude, do you want to start a clothing brand, a fitness thing, you know? Because I was into like the marketing, the business and stuff. And then I knew he was, he was like a big strength uh, fitness guy. And I was like, this is going to be pretty sick because working out is kind of my passion. And then uh, we launched in about five months. And, you know, we've done pretty fucking well. So that's pretty much who I am. Um, right in a way. Yeah, and you guys learn a lot more about, you know, things I'm into and whatnot moving forward. So that's pretty much it. So... And last but not least is Jeremy New. The baby. What's up, guys? <laughs> so, oh, so, what's, up, guys? <laughs> what's up, guys? So, my name's Jeremy, uh, and I'm the youngest one here. I'm 20. And uh, let's see. I am a power lifter. Um, I met Mooney probably. <sighs> fuck, dude. How long ago did I meet you? Uh, wow. Well, like a, be a year? A year? Yeah. So, I've known Mooney for about a year. Um, and I met Rob fucking probably like eight months ago. April. I don't know. How Emerald Cup. Yeah. I don't know how Emerald long Cup. Was. It was. Back April. In April. Back, back in April. April. Yeah. And uh, let's see a little bit about me. I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I bounced a lot between like Vancouver, Washington and kind of Portland area like Hillsborough, Beaverton, Aloha and stuff like that. So that was dope. Uh, moved to Grants Pass. In like 2011 or something like that, I went to high school and stuff like that, graduated from Grants Pass High School in 15, 2015. And fuck, just been lifting, trying to get strong, trying to chase records. Fucking, that's kind of state it. State record holder? Just, oh, yeah, I'm a, state, I'm a state record holder for uh, junior, 18 and 19, 275, raw, because everything I do is raw. Um, <laughs> 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 so, Sorry, mom. The kids, the kids watching it, dude. I don't know. Some kids that know. <laughs> Some kids that know. What does that mean? Oh, like geez. raw food? No. No, nah, man. Raw dog. Raw dog. <laughs> 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 confirmed. Anyways, yeah. guys. Um. So yeah, I hold records in uh, deadlift, bench, <laughs> squat. Now that I'm 20, though, the records are completely different from my age division. Uh, I have a meet coming up in March, so that's gonna be pretty exciting. Are you guys doing the same meet? Yep. Oh shit. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, me and Mooney are actually going to be doing the same meet. Anyways, guys, that's kind of a little bit about me. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, we're located in Grants Pass, Oregon, yes. which is Southern Oregon. We're about an hour north of California. Um, and which is kind of cool in a way because uh, there's not a whole lot of things going on in Oregon. We are the only, no, we're not the only, but we, there are very few, for some reason in Oregon, like the fitness community is like not very big. Yeah. No, like I think, I think it's because well, like, Fitness in Oregon is more like hiking and like yeah. walking your dogs. It's like outdoorsy fitness. Walking your dogs. Por stuff. Portland area is not, not super. But it's bad. not even like, like Jillian Smith has. But it's like that's it. That's true. Like, yeah. that, that, that's super true. Like, I think you like Chad, right? Nope. Or Chad. Yeah, yeah. Chad's from Portland or he lived in Portland and he's like super into bodybuilding and he would talk about that all the time. Like there's like no like. Yeah. There's besides Julian Smith and like a few like tiny little gyms here and yeah. there. It's yeah, it's very Smith's like yoked. super giant. It's not I like mainstream at all in Oregon. Well, I think it's because like in Southern California, you you have Venice and Golds and it's like the that whole bodybuilding yeah, culture. Just... Then you go to the beach and everybody's outside and they're like shirtless and yeah. And in Portland, it's like it's rainy and people like I don't yeah. know. It's just Oregon in general is just kind of different. But yeah. sun's Plus, out, guns out doesn't apply. If you think apply, about it too, yeah. like I mean, aside from Portland and Eugene. It's all like small towns, and I feel like anyone that had any real aspirations to be like in the fitness industry moved to left. That's true. They went yeah. to like Southern California, yeah, or, like, those big cities, for sure, dude. Or Seattle. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of fitness people trying to do like commercials or become like. Yeah. But nowadays, an actor, like with networking, whatever. hopefully, and networking, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, like with the like social media, like how it is, like you don't have to be in. One of those big cities yeah. to make a name for yourself, like unless, that's like Julian Smith. Unless you're trying to do a fan scam. Yeah, well, shit, like what we've done. Yeah, and like us. I mean, we're we built we're a great example. We built a, a community of people in the fitness industry that yeah. you know, I don't know, we it's awesome. kind of a need. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, we've yeah. If you guys saw like the town and stuff where we are, I mean, there's like there's no other brands. There's no other no. what we're doing. There's nothing. No one else is doing this kind of stuff. And the fact that mm -hmm. like. Or really like into it. So like the majority of the stuff we sell and people consume of ours 
no one's it's not from here but yeah. we still become reputable enough yeah in the middle of nowhere and that's all because of social media and it's, it's fucking awesome not even just in our town but like in this area in general like yeah. southern oregon like yeah up in the i think like there's not that many brands there was like a there was like a golds in medford like a while ago like a long time oh, yeah, ago that shut down. and that Super shit shut down, down because people bankrupt. just can't you can't have a 24 hour I didn't even know there was a 24 hour there at some point. They went, it, uh, where International is, in Medford, which is like the big city next to International us. International is a fucking pretty big gym. Before International was there, there was another team. Uh, Oz Fitness was there. Oh, yeah. Before that, Dude, I had a membership there. 24 hour fitness. I used to work at Oz. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I, Small I, I, I got fired from Oz. Yeah. Oh, you got fired? <laughs> I put on a whole. What did you get fired for? Oh, dude. Can you even talk about it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So. I was working at this, it's like, it was a 24 hour fitness and then it got bought out by Oz Fitness. So, and then it became international. Yeah, yeah. when I, when so I moved here, it was Oz. Oz. <clears throat> they, they went bankrupt. Oh, you're a trainer at 24? Yeah, so like, this was like right when I was working as a strength coach at Southern Oregon. Like, and, but Southern Oregon doesn't pay that much money. So I had to do this like side job. And so I got a job at Oz Fitness. I had no personal training certifications at all. I just had my bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. And they were like, no, that's good enough. And so I got a job there, and the way that works is, for some reason I had to do 60 days. I had to shadow this dude for 60 days. Fuck. I had to shadow him, watch him train people, watch him like write programs. Couldn't do anything for 60 days, every like five days a week. We'd just go in there for like five hours. Just, you just get paid around. to do nothing. Basically, I was paid to watch him tell people to work out. That's boring. As fuck. It was terrible. It was so bad. Did you learn anything? No. <laughs> He's just well, I, was a waste I learned life. what I didn't want to be like because this dude. Was, so, so you were taking notes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say the dude. Okay, he doesn't know. What he's I'm not gonna say the dude's name. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the dude's name. But he literally had like, like people would come in like off the street, like hey, like and they'd have to meet with the trainer, right? When you sign up, that's how they meet with the trainer. And this dude would literally pull out pictures on his cell phone and be like, "Look at my back." No, he would show oh, them. Sick. He would show them like modeling shots that he had done of his back to sale, Flexing. like to like to make sales. Like, like I can clients? make you look like this oh, or something. God. And he would just Stupid. and literally he would just talk about how he looked. Well, dude, that's like and, and it was so bad. That's like how Instagram is. Anyway, so that dude that dude hired me, all right, but he wasn't making any. And then he got promoted. To uh, That's or no, no, he, no, he, he hired me and he was like the head of the personal training, but he wasn't making as much money, so he went back to being a personal trainer and like demoted himself. And like they hired really, they brought over the membership counselor That's so the head of the up. membership counselors, and he went over there and he became head of personal training. He had some bullshit certification, just this dude was a total douchebag. Like, he if you were attractive at all, he would just scoop you up, be like, I'm gonna train you, like, like. Instead of like dispersing clients yeah, evenly, yeah, yeah, yeah. he'd be like, "Oh, she's hot. I'm going to try." Even though he was like in a serious relationship, just total douchebag. And then one day, like this, the general manager's driving by. It's like a Sunday, and I'm sitting down doing some paperwork after I got done doing a client or training a client. And she calls up the front desk, like, "How long has he been sitting there?" Like, uh, I just sat down. Like, literally, you you picked the one time. So it was just like a shitty environment. Yeah, it was a shitty environment. <laughs> and so, anyway, like everything. He dude. calls me in and. uh the next day, he's like, to give me my goals, and then he brings that up, you know, he's like, yeah, so, I heard you were sitting down, like, you can't be sitting at the desk anymore. I was like, well, I literally, I was, <laughs> yeah, I I was just sitting there for like a second. I, like, I literally just got down with a client, I was filling out the paperwork, I was about to go do something else. I don't know, I was only sitting down, literally, like, in the, the manager on staff was like, yeah, he was only sitting down for a couple of minutes. Like, and so I was like, I don't really appreciate the fact that she was calling and like, yeah, like right. insinuating See, that yeah. I'm not working. And that's why wow. and, and so he wrote me up the next day for that the first week that they sucks. let me go that's so I didn't crazy. meet the goal so they're like we're gonna have to let you go it almost sounds like he just anyway he wanted to get rid of you somehow. so they fired me yeah, and I was like I lost it I was like you're a fucking piece of shit fuck you you're the worst trainer I've ever seen I think I know seen. who this guy is yeah. I'm pretty I was sure like, I you're the him. worst fucking personal trainer I've ever seen I, I made a fucking I'm, no shit. I'm not super proud of it I made a scene I was like fuck this place Damn. fuck you fuck you <laughs> and, I, and I left <laughs> and now I see him all the time at uh, these fitness competitions that we go to yeah so a lot. I know exactly Who, was he at the wine thing yeah yeah I know you're okay that's actually the, the, he, he's the guy that hired me he's kind of cool 
Oh, that guy. was the guy. No. Oh. He's the guy that was like showing you know, pictures. Oh, I don't know. Tight. Anyway. That was right, a really long story. I apologize for that story. Yeah, we might edit that one though. We're gonna edit that <laughs> down. But, uh, yeah. Moving on. Yeah, moving on. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, we were talking about fitness being kind of lame in Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think, yeah, dude. I mean, if we didn't have if we didn't have social media, if that wasn't like a thing, dude, it would be. It'd be fit. I mean, we could wouldn't be able to do a bunch of things. No, we wouldn't, you, you we wouldn't have met. We wouldn't have met probably really anybody. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have. I mean, he travels down to uh, Northern California sometimes. Uh, he's trained with like Mark Bell a few times and whatnot. Yeah, I've gone down to Super. Train. That would have never fucking happened. I met Vic up in Eugene at Forever Strong yeah. through social media. Right. Yeah. You know, so Vic, who's, yeah, Vic is, who's Vic? Vic. Vic is Vic. Philippe owns uh, Forever Strong Fitness up in Eugene. Possibly my cousin. It's one of the dopest gyms in Southern Oregon. Yeah, it's you know, it's, it's a high-end athletic training facility. They do some cool things. They train some big name people. And I met Vic through Instagram like four or five years ago, mm -hmm. just randomly like following each other and just liking and commenting on each other's stuff. And then like last year we went up there finally and, yeah. and trained with him and we go up, I try to go up there all the time. Like they've come up a couple times mm -hmm. and it's awesome. He nice. trained me for my, yeah, he trained me for my couple powerlifting meets I've done and he's an awesome dude. He's family. I, yeah. And that's through social media. He literally 100%. is almost family to this dude because we legitimately they might actually be related. It's crazy. They're related. Like they didn't even know yeah. each other existed. Yeah. Yeah. Polynesians are that related to exactly. right there. Oh yeah. Fun fact about me. I'm half Samoan. Uh, my mom and her whole entire family are actually from Western Samoa, from Apia, which is the capital of Western Samoa. So sick. Yeah. Fun fact. Dude, I'm what? what? Every I feel like all poly dudes are related. Well, the thing is, it's like Sa like Samoa's population is like 190. Samoa. It's like 192,000 people live there. That's it. That's like the whole population. <laughs> That's not shit. So I don't know. The and the thing is, it's like with my family, like a, with the Reeds just being such a big fucking family. The chances of us being related to like everyone is high. Pretty high yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Everyone's uncle is someone's cousin's uncle. Dude, I was my, my old roommate in college. We moved, we we played junior college football together, and then we transferred out to Mississippi together. And we got in like a couple some one dudes from uh they were they were playing down in like New Mexico or yeah. something. Turns out they were related. They didn't even know yeah, each other. They're like, oh shit, we're ha cousins. That it's happened always like that, dude. That happened to me in high school too. Like uh my cousin Tyrone. We, he's black and Samoan and uh, we had PE together, we had weight training and we were working out and like talking and I was like, dude, are, what are you? And he was like, oh, I'm Samoan. And I was like, oh dude, that's sick. And uh, we hung out one time and I was like, oh shit, like your aunt is my aunt. Like we're related like through blood. That's tight. Yeah. That's crazy. I can't, I can't imagine. I feel like if it was like, a, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's like norm for that to be like. Someone's like, oh yeah, we're yeah. related. Oh, yeah. But if it's, like a, if it's like a bunch of white dudes, I feel like they're like, oh yeah, we're, we're related. It's like looked down upon, you know what I mean? Like it's just not cool. Yeah, you're like, uh, it's, it's like you don't even know. Okay, that's <laughs> weird. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's crazy. That's how it is. It's, it's all, well, like that's just like the culture, really, like the Polynesian culture, like. It, we're, we're so easy to be like, oh, you're family, dude. Yeah. No, even if you're not, it's just like you're yeah, my dude, bro. Like, like it's James. crazy. Like James, yeah, yeah. Like me and. Another guy that we work out with that trains Jansen, here at this gym. My cousin. So. Turned out they're related too. <laughs> <I'm>, yeah, <laughs> it was super weird, but we're like bros. Yeah, that's super weird. We're that's cool though. Yeah, it well, is I really wish cool. there were people out there that I was related to that I didn't know. Yeah, there, I'm sure there is, dude. But well, do you, I mean, it's not, not like you've met not, every not single not person on in your that family. large scale. Though, oh yeah, like, I know. You know what I mean, like it would be like my cousin, cousin, like yeah. twice removed. Yeah. Not like oh shit, you're. Like we actually know you're each other. You're like span. legitimately yeah. like, you know. I know me and Jameson were talking about that when we went to Arizona. Like, and we're in the car. We were like, you know, let's figure out how we're fucking actually like related. Yeah. And we were just like naming off fucking people. Like, like my mom's, my mom's got like eleven brothers and sisters. And so <laughs> wow. <laughs> For, uh, yeah, I don't know. Wasn't that the first thing he said? <laughs> yeah. My name's James. Big. I got eleven brothers and sisters. And my mom's. So got that's like if you think about how many kids you each and like. My family, my mom's family is from Michigan, and so it's it's like huge Catholic families. So every single person has like four or five kids. Yeah. And so like the amount of like cousins I have is crazy. So the amount of like second cousins, like so in 
to an extent, like, there's probably people out there that I don't really know, but it's yeah, not, like, as sure. close as, like, oh, you're my brother. Yeah. You're, like, my legitimate mm-hmm. cousin that I've never yeah, met I don't know, before. man. I think sometimes you guys just say it's just a... Just I would, <laughs> I would believe it. I was just thinking of, yeah. Oh, We're all related. When it's I told a big poly joke, yeah, yeah. It, 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 well, it really is though. That's the thing is like yeah. that's actually a joke. We all, but are it's aware. not a joke. Bro. It's yeah, that's yeah. Like, like that's what's weird is like it's a joke. Like oh, you're family, haha. But then it's like oh no shit, like we're family, like tight, like yeah, like we're actually really family. It's I, super weird, dude. How do we start talking about this shit? Social media, social media, bro. Oh, because you met Vic, we who might Vic, be related. related. Yeah, yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, awesome. social media is everything, man. Basically. It's crazy. Dude, how much does Instagram suck now? <sighs> Instagram, Instagram sucks. Instagram is the worst, dude. I said that for two years. And no Instagram's listened. been saying that, for, or no Rob's listened. been saying that for a long time, that Instagram sucks. Yeah, dude. I and told finally, you, now it's starting it, 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 it does, yeah. He's, he's like the prophecy. <laughs> I did. I told you, like, two years ago, it'd be trash now. And it's, it's, it's garbage. It's it's Instagram's okay for me now. It's starting to get But But no, it's turning, know. so like... Because Facebook got really bad like three, four years ago. That Facebook was, is the downfall. Of the hardest of getting trash right inter- now. Yeah. Getting intertwined with Facebook is the yeah, one that led to the, the downfall of Instagram. No doubt. No. Which because, is ironic because Facebook's like one of the most powerful things you know, in the but world. But literally Facebook. But they made it even worse. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook is, is literally just, it's, it's memes. It's memes and, and it's videos. Yep. Mm. And Memes, that's, that's, ads, and videos. Yeah. yeah, like I don't see anything relevant. No that personal shit at all yeah. on Facebook. No, I think I have like fucking like three thousand friends on Facebook, and I don't see any of their shit. I see ads. Yeah. Videos and, that's and exactly memes. What Instagram is. I made the mistake of the same adding, thing. of letting random people add me on Facebook, yeah. and now I don't see anything. Yeah, like, friends. I don't know who any of these people yeah. are. I know a long time ago, I uh, on Facebook, I deleted all the people I wasn't really, I didn't really want to see and stuff and didn't talk to. And then I started seeing all my friends and you know, it just became like 10 times better. But I haven't, I posted one Facebook status in the past year. I've only signed into my Facebook twice. I don't even have the app on my phone. I have the page managers app because I manage pages, but my personal shit, I don't give a fuck about like any of that stuff, dude. Uh-huh. People are just, it's uh-huh. just weird. It's not like, well, there's no point in me being on Facebook. Facebook is just I, I get nothing out of it. All you do is tag your friends in fucking funny videos. You tag and yourself and the, or or you see like super controversial like posts. Yeah. Like, yeah. People argue. Talking about politics or talking about, you know. People just argue. Dude. Racism and it's just like, it's super negative. There's not a lot of cool sh- like. Yeah, there is a lot of negative shit on there. I feel like it's people's like hobbies to argue. Yeah, the it's whole like, like, like Trump's not my president. Because everyone know. wants to go viral. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like everyone wants their thing to go viral. Yeah, that's true. Everyone wants to get like social media, fifteen minutes of fame, yeah. and so they post stuff that's controversial, hoping that people will argue with it and share it because and blow it That's up. the problem yeah. with today. Is like, it like it's huge on YouTube. Is like negativity is still awareness yeah. like that'll still boost the video like, yeah, so yeah. if people are like just hating on a post yeah. that's still creating traction to where that post will get yeah. hella views and it's really crazy because like almost with anything like you could do a million super dope awesome things but the one time you do something negative everyone's going to yeah. focus on that one yeah. thing that you did that was negative or the one thing that was controversial oh dude it's crazy like, Rich and that will become bigger than any positive thing you've ever done yeah. one thing Rich Piano talked about that in uh, one, an interview he was talking about like he loves the fact that he has haters because that's what makes his vir- videos go viral and without the haters and the people commenting negative stuff on his video I think he yeah. said Generation Iron too. I think he did. yeah that was in Generation Iron too. he's like without the negative people commenting on my videos no one would ever see him because they wouldn't go viral Nobody talks yeah. about stuff that's positive. Yep. I could see that, but at the same time, Rich was an extremely polarizing person. Yeah, like he was. I mean, you would see a full, thumbnail and you're like, "What the fuck? Yeah, who is that?" It, you know. So, but then again, I guess it's all relative. But like he would, he would talk about controversial things because he would get a lot of hate and a lot of people that would just troll yeah. him. It almost became like popular to troll him. Oh, without a doubt. And that, I saw a comment. that would lead to him getting millions of views on those yeah, videos. I watched, I watched one, it's funny you said because I watched one of his videos the other day, it popped up, I forget what it was about, but um, one of the comments was like, who else always trolls but actually enjoys the videos? And it had like 700 yeah. likes. Oh yeah. It was just like, a, it was like a game yeah. or something. All those fake accounts, like. Yeah, well, people, I mean, a lot of the comments were, enjoy they were actually like, they were pretty funny, a lot of the comments, but you know, clever. YouTube comments are fucking hilarious, dude. 
Sometimes. Sometimes they can be like straight up like bad though. Like yeah. sometimes they're really funny. Like I was watching like, a lot videos. of times. Cool. I'm talking more like just clever ones. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. there can be super like a lot clever. of them are just like I love the comments. What is that? That one? There's like those like on Christian Guzman's videos. Like he's like, the type of guy the, that whatever. The, yeah, he's the type yeah. of guy. Or there's all those fake ones like Christian Guma and like yeah. he's just playing on his name and. That's the crazy stuff. People like will take the time to make an oh, account. Yeah. Who has the time to do that? That's crazy. Who? Man. But what? Yeah. To what end? What do you get out of that? No, you're just knowing maybe. Like, there's nothing that comes from that. And the thing is, they comment on, like, every single video, so it becomes like, oh, it's that guy. Yeah. Like, they become known for being that dude that's played off the other dude's name. Like, so he has no relevance, really. But still, though, like, to what? There's why? There's no benefit. You know? It's It's just crazy. Because I've ever met I guess I guess, you know, getting, like, the likes and the stuff. Well, they say. That's, like, what drives people, do. They say, uh that you get a hormonal response from like, like like a dopamine Dopamine, response from likes. I can see that, yeah. No doubt. So like, even though that post has nothing to do with them as a person, but they made that post and it gets like a bunch of likes, they're still getting like that dopamine response. It totally makes sense because like, they're addicted to seeing the thumbs up. That's why people, when they post a picture on Instagram, they keep checking their phone every two minutes. Yeah. I'm, super guilty. I'm super guilty. I do that. I'm so bad. I don't like that I do it, but I'm super guilty of that. Yeah. It's cr- yeah, yeah, it's super crazy. have an app like that, though, that actually will limit the amount of time you spend on your phone. That's like you have a good it, it's ass paid app. app. You set like X amount of time, and then you can check. Maybe you, it allows you to check Instagram five times a day. That's yeah. dope. And if you check it that fifth time, it locks down. And you can't check it anymore it's until not- the next day. That's interesting. I was gonna download it, but you had to pay for it. And I was like, eh, it's kind of cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Dude. You spent it, how much was it? Like a dollar? No, I think it was like five bucks. Dude, I've seen jokes about that, like how people will see a pair of like one hundred thirty dollars shoes and they're like, oh, that's a that's a good deal for yeah. these J's, and then it's like a ninety nine cent thing. And they're like, fuck no, uh, pass on the app. Like that's way too expensive. You know? Yeah, I don't that, know. That's funny. That's weird. Um, shit. Instagram sucks though, that's basically yeah. it. That's basically it. Yeah, it's, it's gone uh, down the tubes, for sure. So, people just don't see it. You know what's crazy though? In and out open. For those of you who don't know, there's two In and Outs in Oregon. One now, of, now there's two. One of them is in Medford. Today. Yeah, today awesome. another one opened. One of them is in Medford, where I live, which is 40 minutes away. That was a big deal. It Tons was of traffic. Huge. It was just like, what, two years ago? I live right, I don't even think, dude, like a year ago. Wasn't, that was wasn't recent even, as fuck. Was, I think it was like two years. But anyways, there's one in Medford, and then uh, there's one today opened up in Grants Pass. So it's like a huge, it's a huge deal. Ago. But yeah, personally, I think in and outs overrated. I think it's like good, but I will no, never dude. go. I will never go out of my way to like go get in and out. I is the shit. It's not, dude. Do I don't know? like it. When I hear that, I think, okay, you've never had another burger. I've had plenty of burgers, bro. I've been all over this. I like I like I've been all over this goddamn country. It's not in and out is the shit. I don't know. What do you think it's better than? Well, what are you comparing it to? Like the other hyped up burger joints. Like Like what what? other ones have you had that you think it's better than? I I think it's. I love in and out. Personally, (laughs) just say it. Personally, I don't compare burgers. I don't go like, dude, this is the best. I don't go. This is a good burger. I don't. Oh, this burger is better than that burger. Why? I like burgers. It's the same shit. I like burgers. So you think that every burger is good? No, not necessarily. No, like McDonald's. I'm not gonna eat McDonald's. I love McDonald's. I'll I think that says a lot about your taste. I think that says a lot about the way I look, also. <laughs> <laughs> Which is horrible. Yeah, it's all big sense. <laughs> I was like, oh, so that's how he's a powerlifter. <laughs> that's why I'm a powerlifter, guys. I just, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I think the burgers are they're decent. I think the. Uh, what is your issue with In-N-Out? I just think it's overrated. I like the burger. But how though? Like what? No, I think the majority of people What don't you like go, about the burger? It's not. It's not the burger. I think the majority of people go there to get a picture of the burgers, a picture with the sign, put it on their Snapchat because it's dope to go there. No one does that. With Brad Castleberry dogs. just gave In and Out a shout out for keeping him lean. Dude, yeah. But my point is, nobody Fake takes burgers. pictures of their like McDonald's burgers. It's all about in and out. Trash. Have you seen my Snapchat? Bro? He said he likes it. Have you seen my Snapchat? And he posts pictures of the burger. <laughs> I'm like, damn. We're not three away. Hashtag three away. I'm just saying. No, like Road I said, I think it's decent. I think their fries are not good. Their I don't like their fries good, at all. No taste. <laughs> no taste. I don't like them. Zero taste. What do you, they don't even no taste, taste like a potato. No taste, dude. I'd rather eat a raw potato. Why? Because they're not fake. 
They're not yeah, like maybe. Public. I don't know, but because they're real potatoes. Yeah, I mean, I don't like real potatoes. Like, Apparently real not. <laughs> I just think I don't know. I just I'm not excited. I'm not gonna go there. Like, so, not burgers. See, this is the difference right here. I like food. All right, I'm not gonna be like, whoa, this food sucks. I like the food. I'm not gonna be like, oh, this food's overrated. If we had them here right now, I would eat. I would so see, I don't get your issue. Then. I would eat it you too. Eat it. I'm saying I, I don't, just don't. I'm like not it. excited that it's open. I'm name not, it doesn't a, matter. Name a burger place around here that's better. I don't know. I don't go to so the Ram makes good burgers, but that's not a burger place. Yeah, exactly. Name a, a burger place around here that does, that makes better. Burgers. I don't know. There are none. Exactly. In and out. That's why people that doesn't are make about that doesn't make me like them because they're the only one. In and out's good, man. It's it's fresh. It is good, but it's, it's not fresh. That sick. The burgers taste a little salty to me, like really salty every time I've eaten it. Might just be the Medford one. I haven't been to the Medford one. It just every time that's I've, the eat, thing, I've that's eaten the there like issue four I times. In and out is that the lines are always nuts. Yeah, it's stupid. Even lines, the Medford bro. one, which opened a long time ago, it's still crazy. It's still crazy if you go there. Well, I think the you, wrong time. It's right off the highway. You probably get hella traction from people just passing by. They go, oh, this is the shitty little town with In and Out, and then they you know stop. I would do that. Damn, look at this shit on Grand Pass. Shit on Grand Pass. <laughs> no, Medford. Oh, Medford. Well, Grand Pass, dude. Yeah, well, that uh, would happen. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, though. When I was going to school in Ashland, Ashland is like 45 minutes south of us, right over the California border. The last in and out in California is in Redding, which is like two and a half hours south of that. We would drive from Ashland to in and out. That's crazy. I remember being... So like in Seattle, there was a burger place that was really famous called Dicks, and uh, and everybody. Why is that so funny? Huh? I don't know why Are that. you laughing? Okay, so it's called Dicks, and uh, <laughs> stop it. No, no, I, that's so hard. That's it's called it. Dicks. Oh, dude, chill, chill, Shit, chill. Okay, so me. like, but but my high school was like, I think we were like 35 minutes away from Seattle, and at lunch. There'd be guys that'd be like, hey, dude, we're going all the way to Seattle. We're going to go, you know. To dicks. To dicks. We're going to get some dicks for lunch. <laughs> and uh, they would go do that. And they're like, I did that one day. And it was like, why did I fucking do that? It was not that good. But it's like being able to tell people you went there. And like, it's just, you know. I can, I can, I can see. And Macklemore had a music video at this dicks place. And like, it was just a, it's the. I can see. It's just, it's not even about the food. There's definitely a cultural thing to in and out For you know, sure, people, yeah. people are like hyped about it. And you're like a California guy. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm from California. So you fuck with California. So I fuck with in and out Well, and, right. and Oregonians who don't know shit about in and out they're like, oh, why is this sick place that makes me feel like I'm in California? Honestly, because the palm trees That's around true. and everything. That makes sense. Yeah. But I think also like, I, the palm trees kind of if you think about like, most fast food restaurants, compared to in and out like if you think of like a Burger that's King, better than if you that's what I mean McDonald's like, and stuff. if you think of like a Burger King or a McDonald's or some yeah. fast food joint yeah and then you compare it to McDonald's or In and Out In and Out's like way the fuck up here yeah so it's better than those, and they're they're cheap dude and it's cheap yeah it's very it cheap and it's fresh food no it yeah the milkshakes are good it, no, their food their food tastes strawberry like, milkshakes hey no the Neapolitan bro I fucking hate Neapolitan dude. That's weird. Their burgers, I don't like it. Their burgers taste like I'm you made them on a grill. Man. That's <laughs> weird that you don't like Neil Paulton, bro, because it has strawberry in it. Yeah, but it's more chocolate than anything. You don't like chocolate? No. Yeah, but it's supposed to be... What? I don't like chocolate ice cream. You don't like chocolate ice cream? I like chocolate, but not chocolate ice cream. So you don't like chocolate ice cream? So you don't like chocolate, then? How would you not like chocolate ice cream? I you love, like, ice chocolate cream. bars. You like chocolate, but you don't like chocolate ice cream? Nope. That makes zero sense. I know, but it's, it's weird. But I like Rocky Road. So you like chocolate? So you like but chocolate, not ice cream. chocolate ice cream? Rocky, just regular chocolate, chocolate ice cream. Rocky Road but it has stuff sure in it. Chocolate ice cream. But it's chocolate. This main thing is. So you like chocolate ice cream with I chocolate? Focus, I focus. Yes, I guess. I that makes say. zero sense. Bro. But Napolitan doesn't have chocolate ice cream, which Neapolitan. 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 Napolitan. 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 Napolitan's the one without the chocolate. I don't like chocolate, guys. Ice cream. You just said you did. Chocolate ice cream. What I like Rocky Road. What if it was Neapolitan, but they took out the chocolate ice cream? Oh fuck, dude! Strawberry vanilla ice cream. Oh, that's it. good. Oh, cool. that sounds like an amazing mix of two great Basically, things. Just I love like strawberry ice cream. I thought it was cherry. Ugh, I, I, I thought it was cherry. Like cherry flavored ice cream. I guess I haven't had that shit. What cherry flavored ice cream? I have never had some cherry Garcia from Ben and Jerry's. Nope. I actually look at it. I look at it, is and it then I'm like, like cookie dough. It has like cherry like chunks in yeah. it. And stuff? Okay. Co nice. I cookie dough all the way. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Tonight dough. Tonight dough. Dude, no, dude, cheesecake, 
Actually, with I don't know, strawberry. I actually no. I just found this stuff from a Tillamook, Tillam, Tillamook, and it's a, a coconut fudge. Oh, you don't like hot coconut. garbage. Bro. No, the whole the whole thing is outlined in a ring of fudge. The whole thing, and then it's like vanilla. And then on top, it tastes just like a Samoa cookie. Ooh, it's it's my favorite. Legit. Not because of the name. Samoa cookies are. Trash. Do you like coconut? What? Do you I, like coconut? I hate Samoa Moody cookies doesn't like, are trash. Yeah, Moody not doesn't because like, they're from Samoa. They're not from Samoa. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was kind of right. Did you make those cookies? Uh, yeah. No, so, yeah, Moody, he doesn't like coconut. Coconut is garbage, bro. I don't care what you say. Like, you don't like pina coladas? No. What? I make fun of you all the time when you get pina coladas. What? When do I, when do I get a pina colada? Well, talk about I love pina colada. I got pina colada in Vegas. Workout or something like. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Hot garbage. Well, you made it seem like every Dude, time we go, I straight eat. I could see. I would low key. Didn't you get one? In we have coconut. At my, we have coconuts oh. at my house that my mom will like husk open and like I'll eat the inside of the coconut. You guys grow like, coconuts? No, dude. My mom buys them. Oh, yeah. Chrissy almost bought some coconuts the other day. I, I don't know. What would you do? I would be there eating them. Wouldn't even eat them. I would never do that. You don't eat coconuts in the inside? You drink the. I wouldn't know what to eat. You drink the the coconut water. milk inside of an actual coconut does That's taste a little weird. Coconut milk. I call it coconut milk, bro. I don't know. Are you milking the coconut? Hold on a sec. Do you, does it have nipples? <laughs> Wait. We need, isn't it? We need to get back to it's the It's called point. chocolate milk, but they don't milk chocolate. Milk. But milk? It's not brown milk. Milk. Or strawberry milk. Milk They're milk from, from a milk. cow, though. They milk the well, cow yeah. to get it. Are you milking this But coconut? they don't call it chocolate cow milk. They just call it milk. What? Let's get back to the point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so James, he doesn't like coconut. Nah, man, coconut's garbage. That's crazy, dude. That just got us 10 Every thumb dude, sounds. I don't care. This song. If you if Mortal Kombat don't like coconut, hit that like button. We're definitely gonna not get any likes now because yeah, we'll of that. that. Everyone likes coconut. Yeah, we literally just got no like. Thumbs up, so. We should delete this video and restart now. No, nah, man, we're good. That's pretty crazy. People agree with me. Coconut's garbage. If you love coconut, comment and be like, I love coconut. And anyway. Oh, coconut's bad. I don't care what you guys say. False. Right. Wrong. It's just not true. It's like... <laughs> it's just a false it's statement. Not, well, it's kind of true. It's not even an opinion. It's Hashtag Team Coconut. That's just not true. <laughs> it's not. Have you guys seen that video of that, uh... Like, the deer in the old couple's backyard, and the dude sneezes and scares them yeah, away, yeah, and the yeah. wife gets all pissed off at him? There's, like, a lot of them. There was, oh, like, there was like 10 deer. I just watched... Yeah, there was, like, a shit ton yeah. of them. They're all right next to the house. And he all gets all upset. Yeah. He's like, what am I not allowed to sneeze? <laughs> like, that'd be my response, dude. I get so... Don't get pissed at me for sneezing. Cakes in the man's luggage were actually chocolate-covered heroin. That sounds like wow. a dangerously delightful treat. A Guatemalan citizen pleaded guilty to a charge stemming from a June 11th incident where he was caught at a New Jersey airport with six single-layer cakes that turned out to be chocolate-coated heroin packages. Damn, dude. How did he carry that many cakes? That's a lot of cakes. How like, do you, how, how, do you, how would you, would they, were they small? Like cupcakes? No, look at, this is it right here. They, those look like the There's angle. a lot of them. Wow, dude. They're cupcakes. There's like cupcakes. They're cupcakes. It's heroin heroin cupcakes. cupcakes. Heroin cupcakes. Heroin cupcakes. 2017, man. Anything's possible. Yep. Heroin cupcakes. How did he, he had six that's, that's single crazy. layer cakes in his luggage. That's weird, like. Yeah, that's, why, like that's that, why he got caught. Yeah, yeah like, why would they're you, like, why the fuck do you have these cakes? Why would you in your travel lunch? with Dude, fucking you're cupcakes? Gonna, you're gonna smash the shit out of those cupcakes. Yeah. Like, this guy's an idiot. That's, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. There's a lot of crazy shit going on these days, man. World Series spectator sees her own apartment on fire from seat. No way. That's crazy. A man attending game two of the World Series at Dodger Stadium took an additional spectacle when he noticed he could see his apartment and it was on fire. Dude, I would not go do anything. I would stick, stay like it. Dude, those, those tickets are so expensive. I bet. Dude. I'm not... You Imagine you do? just what spent all that money on your ticket and now your whole time is ruined because your fucking home is on fire. I would tweet about it. I'd be like, at the Dodgers game, house on fire, lol. <laughs> That's my apartment, dude. And then the fan Dodgers, if your house is on fire, dude, hey. The Dodgers <laughs> lost game too, too. Yeah. So That's, if he was a Dodgers fan, they uh, lost, he spent all that money. Probably They was. lost. And his house burned down. It's karma. He probably did some bullshit. Man. He left a negative comment on YouTube. You never saw Iron Legend? That's like the like one of the only Will Smith movies I never it's saw. It's actually a pretty never fucking got good around movie. It's I haven't seen movie, any man. of his like recent movies. Either I, fuck with, I fuck with Will Smith. I do too. Will, Will oh, Smith. Yeah. Will, like, Willie Smith. Willie Smith. He's dope. The Fresh Prince. Dope. Yeah, the Other than that, like the Scientology bullshit. 
Is he in Scientology? Scientology? Like, Scientology? Yeah, dude. Have you ever seen that documentary? There's a documentary on Net or so, YouTube or I need a link. Do documentary on HBO called like Going Clear. Oh no. And it has like a bunch of people that were like ex Scientology yeah. believers, and they like they go into depth like. Uh, Why well, listen to that podcast? Yeah, Leah Remini. Whatever name. Yeah, is. that was she, really interesting. She's in that uh, documentary, and they're talking about how like they're like it's like a never ending scheme of like you get to a level and then you have to pay to get to the next yeah, level yeah. and it's like X amount of money and you spend so much money That's to be true. a member there and then like once you're in there like it's they, weird they as fuck just, dude they, it's crazy like, well she said like people in Scientology believe that uh, inside of your skin is a bunch of like people well wasn't or like it just nothing, everything's like wasn't like a, like Scientology a, wasn't Scientology second. created by an author of a yeah. Science fiction. Yeah, he's a, fam so science, he's a famous science fiction writer. Yeah, science, and he created well, his own religion. Not just that. He's written the most fictional things yeah. of all time. Like, so really why would big people? Science. What confuses me is like a Dude, motherfucker who writes fake shit. Well, that's the whole makes thing. a religion and people join that's it. That's the whole joke, dude. dude. That's the whole. That's why it's so fucking ridiculous. And if you look at this guy, he's crazy looking. Like, well, yeah. I would think so for creating his <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard. Religion. That's who it is. L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah, dude. He's a nut. In that documentary, they talk about him like being like a captain, like a, a ship captain. It's weird. Yeah, he looks like a fucking he looks, weirdo. I don't know if we should be making fun of him, though. He might get hunted down. Low key, will get hunted for sure. Fuck you, L. Ron. Some dude in a black suit. Is he a ginger? Yeah, he's a ginger. Hey. Of course, he's a ginger. What that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scientology is whack, dude. It's not, but you should, you should check out that documentary. That's on HBO, dude. It's, it's it's crazy. Like they show clips of like I don't know. It's kind of like you know how like Advocare does that like leadership conference and they like all yeah. go to like Texas and like they yeah. listen to people and stuff. They do like that for like Scientology, and like it's weird. Like they all have like big medals and like it's like a show and like. Tom Cruise, the, oh. yeah, Tom Cruise, yeah. Tom Cruise, and then there's the other guy. I forget what his name is, but he's like the head of it, the head of Scientology. Yeah, dude, it's it's just like a big, it's like a big fictional book. It's a big fictional yeah. fucking movie. David you know? Miscavige, this guy. That's a mix, Miss yeah. Savage. Miss Savage. Savage. Miscarriage. This guy. <laughs> this guy. He looks like he'd be the. Leader. Well, I've seen and that. See, he dude. dresses up uh, like yeah. that. I've seen that dude before. Dresses up like a captain. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, dude. Anyway. Scientology is crazy. Dresses up like a captain. I feel like that's low key insulting to actual captains. Captain of Scientology. Yeah, captain right. Of captain of bullshit like, land. That's it. I feel like, yeah. Should wrap up. I say we wrap it Somewhere. up, man. We've, we've gone for almost an hour. Like 30 uh, minutes. 55 like 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, 55. Yeah, that flies by. That, that's funny because like. No wonder long. podcasts are so fucking long. Dude, Joe Rogan's that. podcasts are like three and a half. Joe Rogan's the shit. Joe Rogan is the shit. He is the shit. Shout out to Joe Rogan. Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna make this weekly thing. We'll try to, yeah. Let us know in the comments, like, who you guys would like to see on our podcast. Like, Probably me, more. I mean, if you're gonna drop, like, big names too, like, oh, like Mark Bell or, like, Bradley Martin, like, obviously, I'm gonna be cool. say way bigger names than that. Or, like, The Rock. Like, hey, <laughs> or, like, should, or, like <laughs> me. I was like, that's actually you guys possible. Should, you guys should get The Rock on the podcast. Like, obviously, yeah, we wanna get The Rock on. So, if you know The Rock, yeah. I mean, yeah, a, lot of people, a lot of people know the I'll rock. I'll so. text him. But see if he wants to. Uh, you might be related to him. Anyways, guys. Plausible. <laughs> we're Gunsmith Clothing. That basically wraps it up. You guys, I appreciate you guys watching this. If you're still here, it's been almost an hour. So uh, that's actually mad support if you're still here. And hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed it. You're so, the real MVP. I'm Rob Tremonti. I'm Jeremy New. James Mooney. And that's it. Two G's in a pod. We're out. And we're out. Dude. I feel like that's actually gonna be tits up. That was actually like I actually forgot that we were totally filming for a second. I felt like we were just having a conversation.